This video is a continuation in our series on the nervous system and it's going to cover the functional classes of neurons. So just like our nervous system, which can be divided into functional classes, we can divide our neurons into three different functional classes. So in previous videos, we discussed sensory neurons and motor neurons, but we're also going to throw in interneurons. So our three functional classes of neurons, sensory neurons, interneurons, and motor neurons. So let's take a closer look at each category. Sensory neurons are specialized to detect stimuli and transmit information to the central nervous system. They are afferent, which means that we are going to take information from the periphery and conduct that information towards the CNS. Our sensory neurons are going to begin in almost every organ, so they can monitor both somatic and visceral structures. And they do this using either a nerve ending or a receptor cell. So here in our left picture, we have receptors in our skin. Those receptors are nerve endings. However, in our right picture, our neuron is attached to a receptor cell. So the receptor cell tells the neuron when something has changed in the environment. Now we're going to take a look at a couple of different types of sensory receptors. One type of sensory receptor is going to monitor our internal systems, such as our digestive, respiratory, cardiovascular, urinary, and reproductive systems. And it's going to monitor our internal senses, such as taste, deep pressure, and pain. We call these receptors interoceptors because they monitor our internal environment. So we have a number of examples. We have our sense of taste that is going to be an internal sense because when you close your mouth your taste buds are on the inside of your body. We have baroreceptors of our digestive tract monitoring how full our digestive organs are. We've got baroreceptors of our bladder wall monitoring our urinary system and baroreceptors of our lungs monitoring the uh, internal conditions of our lungs. So you can see a lot of these include baroreceptors. Those are deep pressure receptors that are going to sense the distension of hollow organs. So those are just a couple of examples of interoceptors. Just like we monitor our internal conditions, we can also monitor our external conditions and our distance senses, which we do with exteroceptors. So we can think of our exteroceptors as being associated with our skin, which is going to monitor our external environment for things like temperature, is anything touching your body, and then our distant senses are going to include vision, smell, and hearing because those allow you to monitor things that are far outside of your body and therefore a part of your external environment. This last type of sensory receptor is not one that is thought of very frequently when you are not studying anatomy and physiology and they are called proprioceptors. Proprioceptors are going to monitor body position and movement, and their sensory receptors are located in skeletal muscles, tendons, and joints. And we mentioned proprioception in our overview video when we were talking about our somatic nervous system. And our somatic nervous system is going to monitor our external environment with our exteroceptors, but then it also monitors body position with our proprioceptors in our skeletal muscles, tendons, and joints. Our second type of 
interneuron is an interneuron. Interneurons are sometimes called association neurons and they are located inside of the central nervous system. Our interneurons are going to receive signals from many other neurons and carry out the integrative function of the nervous system. That means that information comes into the central nervous system through our afferent neuron and we connect up with our interneuron which is going to process, store, and retrieve information and then it makes decisions about how the body should respond through our efferent neurons. So you can see our interneurons have lots of dendrites coming into the cell body. That cell body is going to make decisions and then we send lots of different command information out of our axons. So our interneurons are very highly connected within our central nervous system so that they can receive information from many different places and then disseminate information to many different places. We don't have different kinds of interneurons, so we don't need to talk any further about them, but they are very important to the function of our nervous system. Our third and last kind of neuron is our motor neuron. Our motor neurons can also be called efferent neurons, which means we're conducting information away from the central nervous system, and we send signals to our effectors. So remember, our sensory neurons carry information towards the CNS. Our motor neurons carry information away from our CNS. And then the type of effector that we have depends on whether we're talking about the somatic nervous system or the autonomic nervous system. Remember, a somatic effector is going to be a skeletal muscle cell, whereas a visceral effector will be a cardiac or smooth muscle cell, gland or adipose tissue. But regardless of the target, our effector, we are carrying out commands initiated by our central nervous system. That concludes the lecture on functional types of neurons. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to contact your instructor.